See? And we can sit in our own place and we can go, those wicked devils. We can't do that. We can't do that. We can see for what they are and what spirit that they're operating under. And that's the warfare. It's the spirit. It's not that individual. That individual is under the operation of a demonic wicked spirit. And it's never changed since the beginning and it's not going to change until Christ comes and makes it all new again. What changes, what must change, is you and I. We've got to change. Amen. We have to have a renewed spirit. Uh -huh. That doesn't mean that as Christians and we come to one another, and we do, we love one another. And I thank God for us loving one another. But we can forget so quickly that others are suffering as well. They can walk in this door right here. We don't know what they're going through. We don't know. We can be quick to judge. I'm not saying that's happened or has happened, but we can. We can be quick to judge somebody that walks to the doors of our home. If we don't know them, we don't know their suffering, we don't know their pain, we've got to show love. Amen. We've got to show love in our hearts. And God has shown me, He's shown me, I've had great pain this week. I've had more pain than I've ever had in my life. And I was wearing my armor. I had my armor on. I had my sword in my hand. I was praying for my folks. I was praying for the church. I was wearing my armor. And something got through. Something got through that armor. It wasn't a fiery dart. It was a fiery spear. Okay? And it pierced my soul and my heart. And I could stand and I could point and accuse and I could judge or I could forgive and I could love. Amen. I could forgive and I could love. Amen. Because that's what Christ did at the cross for us. That's what He did at the cross for us. Amen. He loved and He forgave as His dying breath. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Amen. we got to learn to say those same things. Amen. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Now, we have a responsibility in the church. We have a responsibility. We have to take and we have to kick the leaven in the teeth. Okay? Spiritually, it's got to go. We can't have those things in here. And we got false doctrine, false shepherds, false prophets have to go. They don't have any place within the house of God. That's right. I pray that our eyes... And our ears are open to the discernment of what's going on in this day and time. We have to love them, but we don't let them come and infiltrate. Amen. We don't let them come in and tell false lies and things. We have to be on guard. 